Uh, debt ceiling, Michael, in the US. Are we going to cut a deal, do you think, there? Uh, we better. Um, the, the debt is larger than the US defence budget. Wow. 18% um, of uh, repayments are going to be towards repaying interests in future US budgets. So um, that, that, um, I know Bernie and AOC won't be interested in the stability of the US dollar, but it's only 63% of international trades, mm -hmm. and therefore uh, Biden better be concerned. So um, they've got some areas of agreement like the... Uh, uh, COVID payments that haven't been made yet, <laughs> they've still got huge amounts of, uh, of them, mm -hmm. uh, they better make some deals because the US dollar is getting weaker in international, um, international trades and uh, we don't want the yuan to become the predominant method of people trading. No, we don't. No, we don't. Tomorrow, we're told around 10am our time, Ron DeSantis will declare his hand, run for the Republican nomination for the, the presidency. Um, interestingly... He's likely to do it on Twitter with Elon Musk. So what does that tell us, if anything? Wow. And how's DeSantos going to go? That's very interesting. And I think it, it just shows the shift in the media landscape mm -hmm. and the decline in significance and importance of broadcast media and the primetime announcement that used to be the, the way of these things a generation ago versus now social media, and specifically Twitter and Elon Musk, where he really is finding himself as kind of a, a power broker in, in the landscape of the national mm. discourse, which is interesting. Uh, in terms of how DeSantis goes, it, he's really in an unenviable position because he is a fantastic governor, amazing record to run on in terms of what he's done in the last four years, but he is running against somebody who actually was president, and that's only happened once before in history in 1880. Grover Cleveland. It's really, really hard to do that. And Trump just has a, a lock on 20 to 30 percent of the Republican base. It's really tough for DeSantis. I think he has a shot. The less splintering there is in the primary field, mm -hmm. the better off he is because he can consolidate the non-Trump support. The more other people run, that, that hurts him. Um, and then the other advantage, I guess, he has is the Dems are really going after Trump, throwing everything at him, and that sort of weakens him, which would be to DeSantis' but favor, Kasha, but buckle up. There are more and more announcing every day on the Republican side. That doesn't so. help him. Interesting. Good uh, thing to watch, or good for us in politics to be watching over the next little while. I'm not good for the rest of the Western world. Michael, thank you, Kosha, as always.